My name's Chaz Bruns. I'm just a goofy guy who loves to travel, and just like you, I want to see as much of the world as I can. The only difference is I happen to be a filmmaker, and I bring my camera pretty much everywhere. Which means you're going to get to find out some of the best places in the world to eat, some of the best people in the world to meet, Howdy, partner. and where to go to have a damn good time. And the best part is, I'm going to show you how to do it all dirt cheap. This episode is proudly brought to you by Blaze. If you're in Maine, come try their craft beer and wood-fired flavors. So I'm flying into Bali with my friends Tim and Tyson Lowe. They're coming here for a family wedding and they let me tag along. Welcome to the family. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to the wedding, you're going to get to see a swankier side of Bali I probably wouldn't show you otherwise. Lucky you and even luckier me. Before all that, we got to get out of the airport. I suggest taking Bluebird Taxi. It's safe and reliable. Just remember, traffic in Bali is awful. So if your hostel's close enough to the airport, feel free to walk like this girl did. But I'm staying with the Lowe's eight miles away at the Golden Tulip Hotel. Depending on availability and time of year, you can get a private room for as cheap as 5128 US. Split three ways, at 17 bucks a person. A hotel like this in the States would cost about 200 a night. I'm digging it. After checking in, I wanted some coffee. So we were headed to the Luwak Coffee Plantation. This is Tim and Tyson's mom Lillian and their aunt Jill. We got a private driver for 10 hours for 40 US dollars. Split three ways, that's about 13 bucks a person. Luwak Coffee includes partly digested coffee cherries eaten and defecated by the Asian palm civet. So these are the little guys that make the coffee. They poop out the beans and then we drink it. Yum. This is the best poop coffee in Bali. All joking aside, you're not really drinking poop. The beans are processed and roasted much like regular coffee. They claim this process reduces bitterness and increases flavor. And ironically, if you drink this kind of coffee, they claim that it won't give you that I have to poop feeling like some generic brands do. A cup of Lua coffee will cost you $3.69 US, but it comes with 14 free samples of other local teas and coffees, as well as free cassava chips. Mmm, that's good mangosteen tea. Tom Brady would be so happy. Inflammation, enemy number one, gone. And this is a ginger coffee, it's great. I fell in love with this kind of coffee. It's really smooth. It's good. Bali coffee, some of the best in the world. I forgot to mention we're drinking our coffee up in a tree house. Pretty sweet. That's a jackfruit. Look at those ants on there, they're fire ants. Jack, 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 jack. I try to explain Tyson, but it's impossible. And just know that Tim is pretty much as polar opposite. The staff wanted me to mention that they love their civets and they treat them humanely. And they'll take them for walks around the grounds with the other animals. I found the farm cat, so I had to pet him. He had a lot to talk about. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for a waterfall. And this isn't even the main waterfall. It's a small one before you get to the big one. But it does make for a great photo op for Instagram. Make your friends and family jealous. It's about a five minute hike from the parking lot and it'll cost you 74 cents US. The falls are near Ubud and they're some of the largest and most easily accessible in the area. It was about a 45 minute drive from the coffee plantation and it was worth it. It's beautiful. It's such a cool contrast to see the waterfall with the umbrellas. It just, I don't know, just the culture around the waterfall and the nature is, is amazing. It's beautiful. <laughs> There's nothing to really say to describe it. It's amazing. Where you just can't capture. Pictures just don't do it justice. <laughs> don't jump off the waterfall. The falls are about 50 feet high, and although some tourists do try to jump, the staff here told us we couldn't. But you can always go swimming. Tim and Tyson were too busy enjoying themselves to do an interview, so I asked Shelby and Taylor what they thought about swimming at the waterfall. They summed it up in one word. Awesome! I agreed. When we got back to the parking lot, Tyson bought a hat. 
And Indonesians like to barter, so don't be shy. I got this pretty badass hat. They're asking 40,000 rupiah, which is like three bucks, but we got them to go down to 35. 35? Okay. How about two How for 70? Come on, relax. <laughs> and if you're hungry, you can get corn for 74 cents. Looks pretty good. This one, this one is the shrimp crackers. I don't know, one thirteenth of a dollar, like seven cents each. <laughs> Smells like shrimp. Tastes like shrimp. Mm -mm. This is 20,000 in rupiah, sir. Yeah, this is good. You got uh, so many benefits. You can see like rice, tempeh, uh, chicken meat, noodles. It's good. Jill is starving, so she got it all wrapped up in a palm leaf to go. That's great. After the waterfall, we headed over to the rice terraces. The rice paddies have become famous in recent years due to their beautiful terraced landscapes. The terraces are a traditional Balinese cooperative irrigation system known as subak. It's an impressive place to walk around in. And it's still an active farm, so try not to get in their way. It's hard work. Hi guys, we're here at the Rice Terrace in Ubud, Bali. It's free and it's awesome. <laughs> She's wicked. She's definitely go. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's amazing the view. The people here is very kind. And now we are filming uh, with our drone. In love with Bali. <laughs> the footage from the drone was breathtaking. You can check out Elias's business and Instagram at these links. Amazing. At the top of the rice terrace, they're shopping. And Lillian was finding all the deals. Look at this awesome sundress. In the, in the Caribbean, it'll be 50 bucks US. But in here in Bali, it's only 350 in US after a little bit of bargaining. Now we're headed to the coast to the Uluwatu Temple. First, we gotta get some food. Not only is the food in Bali cheap and delicious, but it's usually organic and super healthy. God, I love fresh coconut water. There's nothing like it. Tyson was dancing, Lillian was admiring the napkin dispenser, and Tim was buying a hat. I got a hat, 60,000 rupees. No sun on the head. Now we're off to the temple. You can't wear revealing clothing, so they ask that you cover up. It's about a five minute hike down a small path, and then you come to this. The temple is built upon 230 foot high cliffs overlooking the ocean. The views were incredible. It was like the Cliffs of Moher meet Acadia National Park with tropical weather. And the path is literally built along the cliff's edge. If you got any closer, you'd be in the ocean. I don't know if it gets much better than this. This might be my favorite temple I've ever been to. It's a great place to do some Tai Chi or catch up on some meditation. Just beware of the monkeys. They're not friendly and they will bite you, or steal whatever they can get a hold of. And their fangs are nothing to mess with. You might get a good selfie, but you could also go straight to the hospital. Now we're headed into Kuta to meet up with the rest of Tim and Tyson's family at the seafood house. Tyson's a chef, so he was pretty excited to see what they had. And they had a lot. There are a ton of people in town for the wedding, so we ate family style. Everybody shared everything. But to keep it easy for you, I'll just price out what I ate. I had a glass of wine and some of these green clams for $5.17. They had all kinds of delicious seafood. We feasted like kings. It was great. I 
After dinner, we walked around Kuta for a little while. Tyson and I stumbled upon a cheap hostel that we thought was worth showing you. Kuta Suki, 21 US dollars a night. A lot of people stay in Kuta because there's shopping and nightlife. We decided to walk around to see what we could see. It's quite the hip neighborhood. We stumbled upon a free live show. She was great. And if you're too lazy to walk around, you can always do the horse and buggy. We decided to grab a drink at the espresso bar. Got a beer for two bucks. It was a pretty chill vibe at the espresso bar, but we were told if you wanted to dance to head across the street to Patty's Pub. Everyone in Kuta is really friendly, so don't be shy. Just remember to bring your dancing shoes, because they like to party. After Patty's, we went next door to Bounty. Look at that footwork. I personally don't smoke tobacco, but if that's your thing, you can get a hookah here. These guys had some decent moves, but I thought I'd show them how it's really done. I thought I was doing pretty good, but the guy sitting next to me didn't seem impressed. I promise one of these days I'll actually learn to dance. Until then, I'll just sort of bounce around and shake my arms. If today's total is a little rich for your blood, remember you can save 30 bucks by staying at that hostel in Kuta. Here's a map of everywhere we went today. And while we're at it, how about some Bali facts? The population of Bali is 4,225,000. 550 different languages are spoken here, and the major religion is Hinduism. Today we're going to Padang Padang Beach. Entrance fee is a buck ten. Because the entrance fee is so cheap, it can get a little crowded. But that doesn't mean you can't have fun. Tyson was digging it, and what's not to like? There's cheap beer, cheap shopping, and cheap food. I'm trying to eat healthy, but if you don't care, they've got fries for 97 cents. We're here at Padang Padang Beach, swimming, food, beautiful women, beautiful guys. Can't go wrong. Check out this dad bod, oh yeah. Not a bad beach for a dollar. Now that you've seen the cheap beach, let me show you the swankier side of Bali. Normally I wouldn't show it to you, but since I'm tagging along for the wedding, I figure I might as well show you a little bit of the venue. The best part about it is you don't have to stay there to use their private beach. It costs $22, but it comes with a towel and free Wi-Fi, kayaks, snorkeling, and stand-up paddle boards. And they also give you $11 credit towards food and beverage, as well as free juice and water. So it's actually a pretty good deal. We love it coming here as Australians because it's so cheap and it's so beautiful and it's so close. It really was an awesome beach. Of course, I did my trademark backflop. And the ocean caves made for a great photo op. We love Bali! I was loving Bali too. I think everybody was having a good time. What's not to like? Just beware of the cheeky monkeys. They will grab whatever they can get a hold of. This guy struck gold. He's living the dream. Another fancy spot we hit up was the Ayana Resort. And once again, you don't have to shell out the big bucks and stay there. You can just buy a drink or a meal at the Rock Bar. You go down via ramp elevator. It's pretty cool and then they'll walk you down to your table overlooking the ocean. And of course, the rock. Welcome to Rock Bar, success! Rooms start here at $225. I got the same view with a $7 beer. And it's not a bad place to enjoy a drink. But if you don't drink, you can get the same view with $7 calamari. Or some delicious spring rolls for $4.78. They had a lot to choose from. Come down and hang out at the Rock Bar, get this view. After tapas at the rock bar, we headed back into town to meet up with Tim and Tyson's family for more food. It was a Chinese place and they had a lot of duck. Probably my favorite food. Delicious. They're known for their Hong Kong porridge and steamed seafood. But since I'd already spent my dinner budget to show you guys the rock bar, I got the cheapest thing on the menu. A Chinese cruller. It tasted kind of like a donut. And everybody laughed at me for ordering it, because I guess you're not supposed to eat it by itself. You're supposed to mix it in with other things. What can I say? I'm a cheap bastard. Dirt cheap. But if you don't want to be as stingy as I am, they've got porridge and soup starting at $2.42 US. 
and everyone else was there to feast and celebration of a wedding. So we all ate family style and had a great time. When we got back to the hotel, Tyson and I decided to walk down the street to get a nightcap at Boat Rocks. They had cheap beer, pool, and a live band. What's not to like? We tried playing pool, but neither of us could get a single ball in. Seriously, I'm not joking. We couldn't get a single ball in. We left in great shame. Today I rented a scooter and just drove around for hours. I ended up at the Ulan Danu Bratan Temple, or at least I think that's how it's pronounced. It's an awesome temple on a lake. It was a little rainy and overcast, but it gave it a beautifully eerie vibe. The temple grounds are located on the shores of Lake Bratan. Built in 1633, the temple is used for offerings to the Balinese water goddess Dewey Dana. Located 1200 meters above sea level, it's a little colder than the rest of Bali, but it's beautiful. From there I headed to the KOA Surfer Hotel to meet up with Tim and Tyson. It's 40 bucks a night or $13 a person. And the best part about it is it's a backpacker surfer hotel, so if you go up to the bar or pool, you're bound to meet people. And it's located in Chenggu, which is more or less the Brooklyn of Bali. Hipsters everywhere, but it's primarily a surf town. I suck at surfing, but check out my friend Mick O'Rafferty tearing it up. What a badass. Or you can always just chill on some beanbag chairs. Since I've been on a scooter all day, I haven't had a chance to eat. But even though it's dark out, I'm still going to show you three spots to get some grub. Over at Loves and Coconuts, I got this decadent salad and these chicken wings for $8.45. And I got to munch on them while DJ TK Lowe spun some tunes. If you're a skater, you're going to want to head over to Concrete. It's a skate park, restaurant, bar, cafe, and clothing store all in one. If you're trying to be healthy, get a Buddha Bowl for $5.51. Or if you're cheap like me, get some fries for $2.58. You can get a pizza at this Pablo Escobar themed bar for $3.67, but we're here for the $2.58 beer. Thanks Pablo. We decided to end our night at Old Man's Bar. It was a full moon party so people were having a good time. These are my friends Julia and Katarina. They're from Finland and they want to dance. But first, drinks. Old Man's is usually packed so be prepared for crowds, but they've got dancing and beers for a buck eighty-four. It was so hot in there, I couldn't keep the lens from fogging up. They had cheap food and everyone we met was having a great time. But it was too packed to move, so we decided to head on down to the beach. And it's literally 50 feet from the bar. So we grabbed some beers and made our way down. It's always been a dream of mine to go to a full moon party. And I gotta say, on the beach in Bali is a pretty good place to do it. So if you're sitting at home on your laptop, in your bed, watching this, and saying, oh, that'd be so cool, I'd love to go do something like that. Guess what? You f***ing can. I'm not special. I do carpentry and I bartend on the weekends. Stop making excuses. Because if you don't do it, I will. And then you'll just end up watching my videos and feeling sorry for yourself. Is that really the life you want? I mean, look at me. I don't even know how to dance. But I'm still here doing it. Or trying to, anyway. What's your excuse? Even my surfing buddy Mick was dancing. There's always going to be reasons why you can't. And you know what? They're going to be right there where you left them when you get home. So remember, you can do this too.
It only has a song to sing. 